welcome to May 21st, the sixth work day of the week, preparation day for the Sabbath. You like to call it a Friday. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. The, our daily walk with Jesus, day 138 of the year 2010. The people of Nazareth refuses to believe. Brethren, I suggest you write these verses down, chapter and verses down, so you can go study them at your own leisure. You can use the pause button in the corner here, brethren, to start and stop this, so that you can find the proper place in your own Bible as we go along. Well, with that, brethren, let's get right on over into the people of Nazareth refuses to believe. And we're going to start with Mark, chapter 6, verses 1 through 6. Also in Matthew, chapter 13, verses 53 through 58. Soon afterwards, that's Christ, he left that section of the country and returned with the disciples to Nazareth, his hometown. Now, Nazareth was in Israel, not in Judah. And I have a book saying that telling how Christ spent very little time in Judea. He went there for the feast day. But otherwise, all his preaching was in Galilee. But in Nazareth, as we find out here, the next Sabbath, he went to the synagogue. That is a meeting place, not necessarily a church. A bunch of us people go to different places to hear the Word of God. And a meeting place throughout the rest of the week is used for something else. The next Sabbath, he went to the synagogue to teach. And the people were astonished at his wisdom his miracles because he was just a local man like themselves. He's no better than we are, they said. He's just a carpenter, Mary's boy, and brother of James and Joseph, Judas and Simon, and his sisters live right here among us. And they were offended. Then Jesus told them, a prophet is honored everywhere except in his hometown and among his relatives and by his own family. That I find is true. I imagine we all have family that if you try to teach them something, they won't listen to you because they would rather listen to some other guy down on the corner. You don't know nothing because you're family. And he could hardly accept the fact that they would not believe him. Then he went out among the villages teaching. Jesus had have done greater miracles in Nazareth, but he chose not to because of people's pride and unbelief. The miracles he did had little effect on people because they did not accept his message or believe that he was from God seen the real Jesus. Jesus was teaching effectively and wisely, but the people of his hometown saw him only as a carpenter. They said, he is no better than we are. He's just a common laborer. They were offended that others could be impressed by Jesus and follow him. They rejected his authority because he was one of their peers. They thought they knew him, but their perceived notions about who he was made it impossible for them to accept his message. Brethren, a little later on, I'm going to give you a lesson, not on YouTube, because YouTube wouldn't be large enough, but I'll give a lesson on Jesus of Galilee. Do not let prejudice blind you to the truth. 
as you learn about Jesus, try to see him who he really is. Our need for daily prayer. Turn from me captive to sin, O Lord, as the stream turns into the west. Heal my backslidings and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt bondfully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son secret prayer. When you pray, go to your room and close the door. Your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. You will find that in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, do you want to follow that narrow path to see the, yourself in salvation? Then get down on your knees and repent of not following Christ. Not maybe following the teacher that's in your own family or your friends. But follow Christ. Try to teach His Word. Be productive be in a productive olive tree. And if you really want to find that salvation, ask the Father and the Son for the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding so you might be able to turn at least one person in that narrow path and follow Him. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.